your brains have evolved over thousands of years, okay? But the thing about it is that your brain is still wired to focus on short-term short survival in, a, in an environment and in a world where there's limited resources. Today, we've tricked our brains into thinking that the resources are abundant because technology have largely placed a false narrative and have prevented us from really being able to see the reality of what life is really like. And so your brain is fighting with the reality. I'm going deep a little bit. Pay attention. Pay attention. Your brain is fighting with reality. And so you're still thinking short term survival. But that has translated based off of how we've been tricked by technology to think that abundance and resources are abundant into living for now. You've transitioned from survival to what you think is thriving. You've transitioned from survival into what you think is thriving, and that's why y'all all YOLO. When it comes to money, when it comes to money, and then I wanna get into the chat, and I wanna start having conversations with y'all. When it comes to money, realistically, your brain is wired to do it wrong. 98%, this is just a number I pulled out of my butt, but I think that it's absolutely accurate. 98% of most people don't understand money. They got it all wrong. Even some dudes or some people that have managed to uh, become millionaires because they stuck to the blueprint, 98% of people don't understand and they're wired to look at money the wrong way. Your brain is actually wired to do it all wrong. Why is it so difficult for people to do the right thing when it comes to money? Have you ever asked yourself that? Think about it. Why is it so difficult for people to do the right thing when it comes to money? Think about yourself. Don't even start looking at all of these anecdotal experiences or the rappers or the entertainers. Look at your own finances. If you're 25 years old, why is it so important for you to stunt on people? For people that don't even care nothing about you when you think about your high school experiences most of the people that you know from high school you don't even interact with anymore their opinions that you thought were so important and these are the same situations and opinions that we value so much on social media facebook you don't even care about anything they're not even in your life no more you're doing the same thing you did in high school to get the same results that you have today if you're 25 and then these 30 year olds 30 year olds doing the same thing because as you get older, you just do more and you become more of what you already are. Why do we value and look at things the wrong way? I'm going to tell you exactly how our brains are wired. I'm going to tell you exactly how our brains is. Listen, I'm in my bag today. Shout out to the chat. Think about it. We know what we should do. We know what we, I'm paying attention to the chat. I'm seeing what y'all talking about. We know what we should do. We know we need to save. We know we should invest. We know we need to have budgets. We know we need to track our spending. We know we need to avoid credit card debt, yet the credit card companies are making more money than ever. I just bought into MasterCard stock. I just bought a firm a couple weeks ago. The stock is still up over 30% since I bought into it. Klarna. We know what we're supposed to do, but for many of us, it's a gap between what we should do and what we really do. Why is that? Why do y'all think that is? Why do you think there's such a, a moat in between us, a gap between me telling you what you should do and then you going off and doing what you want to do, which is why it's important for me to live stream with y'all every single morning because Y'all, yeah, you absolutely can join the Patreon from Canada. I got people all over the world in the Patreon. Let me drop that link for you, man. You know what you should do, but there's always a gap, which is one of the reasons why I got a live stream with you every single morning to get you on your way. Do you think about why I live stream in the morning instead of the night, except for on Monday nights? And then on Sunday, I do it in the afternoon because I got to get your day started off right. I got to get you in the mindset to continue to do things the right way. I'm trying to motivate you. I'm with you every single morning trying to push you. But then you have to ask the question, why do Anton got to push us all the time? Have you thought about it? It's because your brain is trained and you're wired 
to think differently. And that's why there's always going to be a 1%, 2%, 5%. And let's be clear, 5% of the population pay 60% of the taxes. Your brains have evolved over thousands of years, okay? But the thing about it is that your brain is still wired to focus on short-term survival in, a, in an environment and in a world where there's limited resources. Today, we've tricked our brains into thinking that the resources are abundant because technology have largely placed a false narrative and have prevented us from really being able to see the reality of what life is really like. And so your brain is fighting with the reality. I'm going deep a little bit, pay attention, pay attention. Your brain is fighting with reality. And so you're still thinking short term survival, but that has translated based off of how we've been tricked by technology to think that abundance and resources are abundant into living for now. You've transitioned from survival to what you think is thriving You've transitioned from survival into what you think is thriving, and that's why y'all all, all YOLO. Y'all all, you only live once, let's ball, let's live today, and you don't put nothing up for tomorrow until your body start breaking down and you realize you ain't got enough for retirement, and I'm gonna have to supplement it by making sure that I'm a greeter at Walmart when Anton pull up in his Porsche, and I'm doing it because I have to, not because I just wanna get out and have a good time. Your instincts, think about it. Think about it. Why do you instinctually normalize having toxic relationships, participating toxic when it comes to your finances and your resources against your own best? And we know more than we've ever known before based off a of data study and looking at the people that came before us in order to make better decisions. But think about it. The freer we become, the worse off we are. Our families are more broken than ever. Our finances are more broken than ever. We're more in debt than we've ever been, even though we have all of the insight and information in order to be able to make more informed, better decisions. The point that I'm making to y'all is that we're doing what we should be doing naturally. We doing what we should do naturally. Basically, we're being led by our, our survival instincts and our impulses. That's the thing that's driving our decisions on a regular basis. We do the thing that A, feel good to us, and B, helps us to be able to survive. Many of our financial decisions, right, is being placed in an environment where our brains haven't really been optimized to be able to make sense of why we should focus on long term when everything is short term according to whatever it is that we're looking to do. But our brains haven't evolved as much as our technology and our environment. We aren't wired to save for the future. We aren't wired to make sure that we're making the investments. Think about it. The only reason why a lot of people really get into investing the way that they do is because they think that they're going to get that Rolls Royce. Like they need that carrot, that milestone in front of them right now in order to be able to justify them doing what it is that's best for them Anyway, you have to incentivize somebody to do the thing that's best for them long term. Have you thought about that? Seriously? A long time ago, our ancestors, they didn't know when their next meal was going to come. They lived in a feast or famine environment. It was naturally best for them to consume as much as they could at the time, understanding that it was going to be very hard for them to save for what was to come. Feast or famine. Survive or be eaten. Be eaten. Your instincts was consumed as much as possible. And saving, honestly, as far as technology and modern society is relatively a new concept. You, you have to override your natural impulse to consume. When you consume, you're giving money away, you're servicing your loan, you're more caught up in what it is that makes you feel good at the time instead of the thing that's actually going to be best for you long term. You gotta develop the habit. 
You can't just continue to do the thing that makes you feel good because in order for it to become a habit, you have to do it consistency for a long term. It's the same thing when it comes to content creation. It's the same thing when it comes to being successful as far as going to college. You have to develop a habit, good study habits, good consistency when it comes to uploading and pouring into people. You have to continuously do the thing that don't make you comfortable right now. This is why I always tell y'all, stop chasing happiness, chase growth, because growth is going to force you in an uncomfortable comfortable position and then you have to create a habit you have to continuously do something regularly instead of doing the thing that makes you happy at that time because the thing that makes you feel good at that time is not going to be best for you long term it's easy for people to say chase happiness uh, chase happiness because instinctually that's what our brains are wired to do you have to do things differently as far as chasing growth get out of your mind chasing happiness and start chasing growth